The Revolix is a 2 micron continuous wave laser, which utilizes the tholium ion as an active ion. The power emission is 70 watts. The wavelength is 2013 nanometers. This laser radiation is well absorbed by water. The optical absorption length is 0.25 millimeters, and the penetration does not exceed 0.5 millimeters. As a consequence, an aqueous irrigation absorbs the laser radiation and protects any tissue more than 2 millimeters away from the tip of the fiber. Therefore, in the vaporization of the prostate, the side fire technology is not required as in the case of the KTP laser. The Revolix laser can be used with a bare-ended fiber. This straight firing delivery system allows not only for vaporization, but also tissue resection. Expensive single-use side firing fibers are not required. This view shows resected prostate tissue after surgery with the Revolix laser. We have named this procedure vapor resection because the prostate is simultaneously vaporized and resected. The size of the resected chips can be easily controlled to be small enough to be washed out. A black coagulated surface can be seen, but the histology of the specimen shows only a thin coagulation seam. Therefore, sufficient histological diagnosis is possible from the resected material. The tissue damage is not deeper than one millimeter. In this video, we present a 63-year-old patient with a distinctive obstructive gland and 90 milliliters of residual urine. The patient received spinal anesthesia, which we use as a routine for all our BPH patients. The entire procedure took 1 hour and 20 minutes, of which 37 minutes the laser beam was on. The red aiming beam can be seen on the bladder wall easily. In this patient, the ureteral orifices are quite close to the bladder neck. The surgical technique is the same as in other laser vaporization or resection procedures. After an incision at 5 and 7 o'clock at the bladder neck, the resection of tissue can immediately be started. It is important to cut small pieces so they can be washed out without morselation. The middle lobe will be removed up to the veromontanum. The combined vaporization and resection technique with the 70 watt Revolix laser is nicely demonstrated. Steam bubbles in the operation field are steady and do not impair vision. An advantage of the Revolix laser is the power efficiency. This laser neither requires external cooling like a domestic water supply, nor is there any noticeable heat generation. No surprise. This laser is powered from a standard domestic 16 ampere supply. Special installations like a 40 ampere power supply and cooling water is not required. Since the 2 micron wavelength of the Revolix laser is invisible, protective eyewear for this laser is color neutral. During laser treatment, the vision on the surgical field is neither affected by discoloration of protective eyewear nor by laser glare. The view in the operation field is good during the Revolix laser treatment. After removing the middle lobe of the prostate, the side lobes should be removed beginning at the veromontanum, unlike electroresection. The external sphincter can be preserved in the best way. On the contralateral side, the procedure will be performed in the same way.
Vaporization of prostatic tissue only is possible by applying the laser tangential to the tissue. The hemostasis of the Revolix laser is excellent. Even stronger arterial bleedings can be handled easily by this laser. Normal saline can be used for irrigation. This reduces the risk of TUR syndrome. Catheter removal on the next day, sometimes on the same day, is possible. Therefore, the hospital stay will be shorter than in the case of conventional electro-resection. At the end of the procedure, resected tissue is removed and the catheter inserted. Again, we see the following advantages of the 70 watt Revolix laser. Bare ended reusable laser fibers allow for resection and vaporization in combination. Subsequently, no additional costs of single use side fire fibers. Better view because of invisible laser wavelength. Special installations like external water cooling or a 40 ampere power supply line are not required. Less blood loss in comparison to electro-resection. Short catheter time and hospital stay. No TUR syndrome because saline irrigation can be used.